Welcome to Wisdom of the World. Today I'm going to tell a very, 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 very old story from India. And it is called A Brother's Worth. And it goes like this. Once upon a time there was a village next to a forest. And the people in the village basically cleared to the forest land and then farmed the land, partly mixed with the trees. Now, on one particular day, three of these people of the village were working on the land and at the same time, several robbers robbed some people close by. And the king sent his man to basically catch the people. And the king's army, police, went and they looked everywhere, they looked everywhere, they could not find the culprits. So they saw these three men at the field and they said to them, yeah, you actually, you are the three robbers, but now you're acting as if you're peasants. But we didn't do anything, they said, but the king's man didn't want to hear any of it. They took him, they, 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 they handcuffed him, and they said, you will be brought to the king. And they protested their innocent all along. And as they were led to the king, there was a woman who came up and said, I want my dress. I want my dress. And when the king sort of heard that, he said to his men, give that woman a dress. Yeah. But she said, I want a dress representing my Lord. I don't just want any dress. And then the king called her and said, what, what do you mean, a dress representing my Lord? And she said to him, But your majesty, a representing my Lord means my husband. Yeah. Without my husband, you know, I am not complete. So the king understood then that this woman must be related to the three thieves that they caught. So he asked her, I said, how are you connected to these three men that we caught, these three thieves? And she said, well, one is my husband, one is my brother, and one is my son. And then the king says, well, these are thieves. So they must be punished. But I like how you talk and how you think. So you can choose one of them and I will let them go with you. Who would you choose? And the woman said, well, well can't you let go of all three of them? And the king said, no, these are thieves. They must be punished. Well, in that case, said the the woman, I choose my brother. And the king was surprised. And he said to her, why wouldn't you choose your husband or your son? And then she explained to the king, well, listen, your majesty, understand me. A husband can be gotten by any road, any time. Yeah. And I also can get a son that way. But a brother, how, wherever am I going to find another brother? Especially not since my parents already passed away. And the king understood her thinking, her logic. It made total sense. And he said to her, you are right. You are totally right. I understand you. And he released all three men. And she happily walked away 
with all three men. Now, the moral of this story is really appreciate your brothers and your sisters because indeed, as the story shows, they are rare. Thank you.